Once upon a time, there lived an odd little witch in an odd little house. She spent most of her days tending to her odd little garden and resting in her odd little chair. On this day, however, her sleep is interrupted by odd an odd little noise. <laughs> Who's there? Let's get up. Oh, this game's so pretty. It's so in-depth and so pretty. Hello! F. You devil! How dare you wake a young lady from her beauty sleep! Yeah! <laughs> shoo shoo! Get out of my house, you mindless beast! You're making a mess. With a swift kick in the rump, you boot the goat through the front door. Oh. Why did this place get so cluttered? Could have sworn I swept the hearth just yesterday. First things first, my old grimoire must be around here somewhere. New chapter. First things first. Yeah, there are chapters, so we'll probably just knock out one chapter a day. Not a day, but like one chapter each time we play this. But this game is so fun. Um, hopefully it's not too loud again. I'm trying to my best. Uh, is this it? Aha, here it is. Hmm, it's lighter than I recall. Your grimoire contains all of your craftable recipes. You can open it at any time by pressing H. Aha! Oh man! <laughs> we got lots to learn! Lots to learn! Mending poultice, a speckled herbal paste that heals aches and pains, heals depleted hearts. All my recipes are missing. That damnable creature has chewed up all the pages off my book. Where's my belt? I'll need to carry my things if I'm not going if I'm going to confront the beast. I must have left it in that trunk over there. Over here? Hee <laughs> hee! I got little crow feet too. <laughs> I got little crow feet. Here? Ooh, that's our belt. And then we got imp by eye. Its thorny husk has stimulating properties whether ground and consumed or simply stepped on. Reedy twine, seeker vine, our belt. There you go. Oof, my poor back. How long was I napping for? A good dose of medicine ought to soothe these aching bones before I head outside. At least I still have the recipe for my mending poultice. Yeah, that's what we got. And can we craft? Like, no, we gotta go collect it. Oh, but we have it here. Winky, winky. And a blinky. And a blinky. Is that all we need? Yeah. Can we use it? Oh. Good? We go outside now. Hello? Go, Tigu! You step outside into a human marsh and immediately stub your toe on a twisted root. <laughs> Gosh dang it, these roots on my door! Ouch! Close your eyes for a wink, and the next thing you know, the whole yard's gone to the weeds. Somewhere in the distance, you can hear braying through the dense bramble. Where'd that cross-eyed Billy get to? How he could at least put those gnashers to good use on this lawn. Open your map tab to get a better look at your surroundings. Well, how am I supposed to get a better look if all I know is just darkness and despair? Oh, there you are. Hello. Okay, so I gotta go... Right. Ooh. I will take all this first. Okay. Uh, wait, I wonder if I lower... No, it doesn't lower it for you guys. Okay. Because I'm gonna lower it and my ears is loud. Mushroom? Mushroom? Or hag shroom? Bah! Is that all you've got to say for yourself? Bah! Uh, uh, okay. The goat coughs up a disgusting hairball. Ah, yes, hello? Hello? Can you hear me now? Apologies, it's been so long since I've used a mortal vessel. Yuck, there's dirt in the, its mouth. Puh, puh. You can talk? Of course I can talk. Has your mind become so filled with cobwebs that you've forgotten your old friend? You wound me, madam. It's good to see you up and about. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever awaken. Though I suppose time flows strangely in this place. Anyway, I've come to collect. Do you have the amount we agreed upon? Amount? Amount of what? Oh dear. If you really don't remember, we should go over the contract details again. Down there. 
The goat nods its head towards the ancient stone gateway looming nearby. And just how am I supposed to get through that solid rock? You're the one who sealed it last. Take a closer look and I'm sure it will come back to you. Open your witch's eye to inspect objects and creatures and discover their weaknesses. A buoy. Ah, stone pillar. An unusually large standing stone wrapped with enchanted engravings. Unveiling powder. Okay. Don't underestimate your senses, my dear. You may be old, but you can see things others cannot. Hidden weakness lying below the surface. Ah, I can see it now. There are shallow runes etched onto the surface of the stone, but they're too faint for me to read. A powder of unveiling ought to do the trick. If you hadn't made a snack of my book, I wouldn't have to retranscribe my recipes. I shall not be held liable for any losses or inconveniences incurred as the result of an abyssal possession. <laughs> By inspecting objects and creatures, you can learn new recipes to craft in your grimoire. Okay, so did we learn this? We did and we could craft it because I got the vines earlier. Nice, so then we can use it immediately. Did it work? You smear a handful of the glowing powder onto the runes of the doorway. A cool blue light emanates from the glyphs and envelope en envelops the entrance of its of uh, jeez. Envelops the entrance in its aura. Okay, reading's very bad today. You squint, attempting to discern the meaning of the letters. They appear to be in some obscure runic alphabet. What gibberish is this? It looks like it was carved by a frightened hen. Hmm. It must be written in the umbral tongue. Allow me to translate. The goat steps up to the doorway and pauses. Hmm. Well, what does it say? The goat swings its shaggy head towards you. Dark, matted wool obscures the creature's beady eyes. I... I cannot see. Unbelievable. What help are you then? I didn't come here to help. I came here to collect. Now do something about this mop of hair, would you? Fine, fine. I think I have some rusty old shears down in the garden. <gasps> down in the garden. Uh, over here. Here? Where? Is this my garden? This is an awful garden. What is this? Vine tangled ruin. These old stones are tightly wrapped in an in un innumerable vines. Weakness shears. Okay. Well, I don't have shears. Thank you. In my garden. Is this my garden? <gasps> ah. Here we go. Can I use the shears on this first? As you hack the thick tangle of vines with your shears, the tendrils seem to double in density and threaten to swallow up the doorway no matter how hard you work. Where do you think you're going? You haven't forgotten about me again, have you? Well, there goes for me trying to shoot my shot. I didn't want to pay up, sir. I don't want to pay. Whatever am I paying? Uh, snip. Ah. With much protesting and nickel and a nicked ear, you shear away clumps of dirty hair from the goat's eyes. Oh, you look so clean now. Ah, much better. Oh my, were you always this grotesque? Or is my memory failing me as well? Oh my gosh, <laughs> so rude. Watch your tongue or I'll give you a good snip too. Now, can you read the runes or not? Um, yes. <clears throat> A space beneath she sleeps alone, tokens given up to the unknown. Fires of four shall unroot the stone, braziers burn and await the crone. Crone? Who is it calling a crone? And what are these tokens I'm to burn? Perhaps you ought to take a closer look <laughs> at those braziers? Uh, are these braziers? They're full of water. Crusted brazier. Some past contents have left a hard residue within. Glinting brazier. Okay. So we need frog slime. Okay. Shiny stone. Okay. Dog hair. I mean, I got a dog downstairs. Can I just use him? And a blue feather. I feel like blue feather is going to be the hardest one to get. Dog hair. Bird feather. Frog slime. And a shiny stone. I don't suppose you swallowed up any of those while I was asleep. I don't think so. But feel free to sift through this creature's leavings if you want to be completely sure. 
However, there's a whole world outside this little swamp, you know. See that gateway over there? The one with the lovely green flame? The goat motions to the far side of your yard. I guess a brisk walk in the woods would do these creaky joints some good. Too much time indoors is bad for the humors. Humors? Humors? Humors. Uh, is it talking about this? This thing that I tried earlier? Yeah. <laughs> Snipping and tearing, your shears make a short work of the bramble. Uh, into the darkness I go! Whoa. You cut your way through the remaining vines and suddenly step onto a cold stone... dais? Time seems to flow backwards, or maybe it speeds forwards? An oppressive, star-filled void stretches as far as you can see, though there is no wind or sound in this void. A warm fall breeze and the chirping of birds seize your attention. A doorway. Oh, I forgot. There's like different doorways to different areas. <sighs> different stories and different quest lines, I believe. Man, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. That's a lot. Okay, first one we go. The forest. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. It's very autumn-y. See, this is where I wish Dreamlight Valley was like this pretty. What is that? Hatchet might break this apart? What is it? A rotting log. Yeah, a logger's hatchet. Okay. Uh, what's going on? Ooh, what's this? Impi nut. Okay, we've seen that before. Some stone. Um. Okay. Let's look on our map. Map. What's... G? No. What's the map? Tab? Tab. Oh. Ooh. So I think these are like little um, quest line markers. So let's go to elusive amphibians. Maybe we can help this guy out first. What are you? Whoa, what was that thing? Uh, that's a squirrel? That's the coolest looking squirrel ever. Is he over here? Whoa. Whoa, what's going on here? A fairy? And what are the little ones? A firefly, catching nets, and a mushroom. Ragamuffin! <laughs> Oh, hey, lady! What's with the great stinking pot on your head? I would ask the same about all those stinking frogs in your trousers. Aw, you're just jealous. The boy fumbles between trying to wrangle all his frogs and swiping ineffectually at wayward fireflies with a shoddy-looking bug net. Juggling a little more than you can handle, eh? What exactly are you hoping to accomplish, flailing about like that? Are you daft? Me frogs are hungry, so I gotta catch some of these fireflies to feed them. He takes another wild swing, missing his target entirely. Why don't you let me take a few of those frogs off your hands for a moment? That would let you swing that net properly. Oh, I see how it is. You're after me precious prizes. Well, how about I give you the net and you catch me some fireflies? Then maybe I'll think about trading you one of my froggies. Ooh, okay, so we got the net. Easy. So, we gotta catch... Is there like a little quest thing I could do? Well, I, I know I need to catch them fireflies, right? So, e. easy. All right, let's catch three. I don't know, three's always like the good number. Can we catch her too? Fairy dust, okay. I'll take some fairy dust. I'll catch all these. It's not like they're respawning right now. Is that all of them? Okay. Well, these hoppers aren't going to stick around with empty bellies. The faster you catch those fireflies, the faster we can eat. Uh, I mean, the frogs can eat. I have some. Oh, five. There we go. The boy holds out an empty jar with holes poked in the lid. There you go. The boy shakes the jar, rattling the captured insects like pennies in a piggy bank. Oh, these are nice and juicy. The lads are going to feast tonight. Now, about our deal. You had agreed to trade me one of your pets there. <laughs> what deal? I don't remember making no de- A frog squirms out of the boy's overalls and plops down by his feet with a wet slap. Ooh. 
Dang it! There goes Slippery Pete! He takes a clumsy, clumsy swipe at the amphibian, but the creature squeezes out of his grasp and bounces into the underbrush. Aw, oh, shucks. I never liked him anyways. If you can catch him, he's all yours. There you go. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Yeah! <laughs> it was a quick catch. Quick catch. I'm done. Um, okay. So I guess that's it for him. Right? So if I look now... Yeah, it's done. Okay. So we got... Hair of the dog and within the wood. Oh, light in the darkness. How... Zoom out. Cute. Is that all zoom out I can go? E. Yeah, that is. Okay. So we got three more. Let's see. Oh, is she one of them? No, she's just chilling. The woman spins around on her heels so quickly. She nearly hits you with her spyglass. Ah, you startled me. Can't you see I'm busy with my scientific research? Research? What is it you're looking for with that contraption? Why, the famed indigo tufted forest lark. They're said to be native to this forest. On oh, to this fort and this forest only. Have you seen one, perchance? You glance upwards at the small blue bird perched atop the oblivious woman's hat. Is that it? <laughs> I haven't. Sorry. Ah, oh, shame. Well, it's never too late to open one's eyes to the wonders of the natural world. You never know what you'll discover. She points at a nearby woodland critter stuffing its cheeks with seeds. Take that squirrel, for example. Spend a few moments watching its behavior and you'll learn everything you know about it. Observation is key. Now, if you don't mind, I wouldn't want to miss making an exciting new discovery. The blue blur bird glances vacantly at you before pooping on the brim of the woman's hat. <laughs> oh, lady, you're so gonna miss it. There's also a bird up there. You can just look up a little bit. Are you my... Oh, you do have a dog. Can I? Hello? Are you aggressive? Ah! Can I take? Okay, I get it. Whoa, are you chasing me? Hold on now. Alright, can I talk to you? Evening, ma'am. Come to check on the pottery. I'm afraid I just fired the kilns up, so they'll be still they'll still be a while. Pottery? Bah! I was just admiring that fine canine over there. You point to a scraggly looking mutt patrolling the yard. May I give her a petting? Oh, you can try, but I wouldn't if you value your fingers. She's a touch bitey today and doesn't much like people going near the ovens. I have a way with animals. Surely I could find something to calm her down. Uh, let's see. Soporific morsel? What is soporific morsel? What is soporific? Poison? We poisoning? We poisoning? Are we is this eep is this eepy food? So horrific potion, empty jar. It looks like sleepy food. Okay, so I need a left cap, a jar of water, any meat. It comes from a village. I need an empty jar. All right. Looks like we got our got we got we got stuff to do. We got a mission now. Um, is this for water? Oh man, oh jeez. I don't know about this. You tap the man's shoulder and he nearly stumbles headfirst into the well. Ah! What's the matter with you? Could have fallen in. Then perhaps you shouldn't be leaning over the edge like somebody, some wobbly stork. <laughs> What's so interesting down this well anyways? Well, my grandpappy used to tell me that people drop all sorts of treasure down there just waiting for someone to dig it up. Got myself a trowel and thought I'd give it a go. But the rope's out, and it looks awful dark and damp. I get goosebumps just thinking about all the ghoulies that might be lurking in there in the shadows. Ever consider that those ghoulies might get goosebumps thinking about you lurking up here in the sunlight? Uh, no. Not really. Not sure if that makes me feel any better about them, actually. Maybe the business of treasure hunting isn't for me after all. Here, why don't you take my trowel? I don't think I'll be needing it. You can go down into the well and see those ghoulies yourself. Yes, please? This old well is deep and dark. You might be able to climb down into it, but the rope is the rope has long since rotted away. <gasps> Reedy twine. 
You toss a length of strong homemade rope down into the darkness. It seems like it should support you without much fuss. Alright, why are we going down here? Maybe there's clay down here? Oh. Oh, there's money down here, too. <gasps> yeah, we need clay. And shiny stone! That was so easy! I think the hardest one's probably gonna be that dog hair. Just trying to craft the soporific stuff. What is this? Freshwater spring. Ah, oh, okay. Can we make our jar now? No, we still need campfire ember. So we gotta go find a campfire and we need to get more clay. There's plenty of clay down here. The clay's packed. I'll need a trout. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Man, this well, it goes down like far. What's that? What's all the way back here? Hello? Any ghosts or ghoulies? <gasps> a chest? Locked. Dang. Well, oh, look, another shiny rock. What is that? Something stirs inside but does not emerge. What is it? A darkened nook? A cozy burrow for a creature who prefers to be left alone. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Sorry to, you know, just try to enter your home. Okay, and there's a whole area back here, too. Okay. Um, so we still need a blue feather. We still need to make a jar. Mm. But see, that's what I mean with the, um, with the whole, it just becomes like a huge, like, crafting line. And honestly, I think it's just quite enjoyable. I think it's fun. I don't think you moaning in my ear is fun at all. Okay. Can the squirrel give meat? Is that like- I need to make a snap trap for that. Oh, hello! I could dig out of the coal with the right tool. Oh, the trowel! <gasps> and there's the embers! What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? It's running away! A soot sprite! Okay. Um, I'm just gonna- Sir, I'm just gonna look around your property and take whatever I want before I talk to you. I hope you don't mind. Uh, because I'm not going to do anything different if you do mine. There we go. Hello. What is this? Oh, that's where the axe comes in handy. Hello. Hey, you there. Give me a hand, would you? With what? You seem to have everything under control. These stumps aren't going anywhere. My darn useless son was supposed to help me. But he's wandered off again. Probably to go bother frogs and eat bugs or some such nonsense. Anyway, I need help clearing away some of these dead logs. It's late in the season and the wood has started to rot. Just be careful of the purple mushrooms that sometimes grow inside. They'll make you powerful powerful they'll make you powerful sleepy if you breathe in the spores. As much as I do love poisonous fungi, I'm not much of a lumberjack. Nonsense! Anyone can experience the joys of splitting a fine stump. <laughs> Here, my boy. Won't be here. My boy won't be missing his hatchet. Free hatchet. Thank you. And this is how I get the leaf cap. Okay. So now let's go back in the well, right? Let's see. I keep forgetting the craft button, so I'm just gonna keep doing this. Yes. Yeah, so let's make this. And now we can make. We need to get a jar of water. So I need to make two of these actually. And then I go down here, collect the water, and then I can be able to make the potion. There we- yep. And then... There we go. Now I gotta figure out how to get meat. Where it says I can get it in the forest. Maybe that's where the snap trap comes in. So... Froggy! Come here! <laughs> yeah, I love the freaking catch noise. Just... Bang! Okay, I want this squirrel there. It just he exploded! He just exploded! What on earth? <laughs> Freaking gone! Okay, he's gone! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, what's going on back here? Okay, okay, I see you, I see you. Alright, so we got the stuff to make. The EP meat. So this should not kill the dog, right? No dogs are harmed in this. 
So is this going to have to work for the bird as well? How am I going to get that bird feather? Uh, Wolfie. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, no, no, you don't like me, you don't like me, you don't like me. I threw that way too- Okay, good, I can pick that back up. Eat that! No, leave me alone! Go eat your food! Is it yummy? <laughs> Immediately. Shlumped. More. That's all I can get for now. Aww. Let me get all this stuff then first. Uh, cuz- No! There we go. Oh, free pots too? Yeah, let's get all these free goodies first before we leave this area because I'm afraid he'll wake up again. Is that... There we go. Man, that dog is snoring up a storm. Where'd that thing go? There you are. Is that all I can get? I think that's all I can scrounge up. There is a chest back here. I'm not stealing, I swear! <laughs> okay. So we got the dog hair, and now we have to gather the blue feather. Which... Oh, there's stuff down here. Hold on, there's like a pathway down here? Oh, what's that gonna lead to? Uh, am I going the right way? No, I'm not. What's down here? Yeah, we never really followed this pathway. I mean, but the the fe we know the bird is by the, her. Ooh. Whoa. This area is so pretty. I don't think we need any of them though, so I'm not really going to worry about catching them. This is locked. Okay. Never mind. So we got to go up to Blue Bird Lady. I think if we maybe we can expect the bird on top of her. And it'll tell us. No. Hmm. Let's see. There's a bird right here. Snapchat. Okay, so it just needs another Snapchat. That's totally fine. Oh, it says it there. Birds, squirrels, rats. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. There you go, birdies! Come on! Come on! It's fine! You're fine! <laughs> Freaking explodes. Okay. <laughs> Snapchat indeed. Frog slime, blue feather, shiny stone, and dog hair. That's all I need for those braziers. I should head back home now. Easy peasy. Lemon a squeezy. That was fun. I, I don't know, it just like itches my brain. What is this? A hearth seed? Oh, it's like a teleporter back home. That's pretty cool. Alright, I'm home. Man, my home looks so cool. Man, it looks so nice over here. I miss this place. Mmm, the smell of mildew and mold just permeates here. It is beautiful. The brazier awaits an offering. Frog slime! You gently squeeze the globs of wet slime from your satchel into the basin. The mucus bubbles and pops before cold flames reduce it into a fine odorless ash. Brazier waits. You drop the stone into the basin with resounding chiming sound. Fractures trace across the pebbles before it cracks open, and a cold green light swallows it within its flames. Okay. Offering dog hair. The dog hairs take a moment to fall from your fingers, fluttering down with into the basin one by one. The fur bristles into, fa into foul-smelling coils before erupting into a golden green flame. And... Blue feather. A strong force pulls the feather down into the large basin like a magnet. It bursts into a bright flash of light as cold flames engulf its essence. The emerald flames of the braziers place strange shadows across the stone doorway. You watch as fingers of shadow crawl up the rock face and crack open the solid granite like stale bread. 
The stone crumbles away into darkness, revealing a yawning stairway descending down into the coiled, cold or earth. After you, madam. Coil earth. Into the shrine I go. What's happening in here? Okay. Why does it sound so... <gasps> Ooh, lady. <gasps> She's so pretty. Look at those lips. She's got them luscious lips. Oh my gosh. She's so pretty. Um... A sleeping mating. Encased inside a gilded crystal coffin lies the body of a young woman. Though she sleeps in an enchanted slumber, her ageless features express a deep sadness. The sound of a du of cloven? The sound of cloven hooves echo in against the marble floor as the goat comes to your side. Quite something, isn't she? Do you remember bringing her to me? I brought her to you? Why? Who is she? I haven't the faintest idea. All I know is you brought her lifeless form to my doorstep and begged me to save her soul. Save her from what? And why is she asleep? Why, from the twelve wicked souls whom you said wronged in her life. Villains who deceived her and cheated her and broke her spirit. And, as we agreed, here she will sleep until our contract is fulfilled. Until you bring me those twelve wicked souls. What? I remember no such contract. Our pact is binding, regardless of what you do or do not remember. At the goat's word, words, you feel something hard and dark locked away in the depths of your heart. It speaks the truth. And just why should I do your bidding? Seems like a lot of bothersome trouble to me. What do I care about some sleeping beauty? Bring me the twelve souls, and I will release the sleeping maiden from her slumber. Our agreement will be fulfilled. Who knows? In time you may even remember why you brought her to me in the first place. Or you can simply return to the comfort of your little hovel, where you will waste away until the weeds grow so thick that not even your shears will be able to cut you free and your mind will stay as empty as that grimoire of yours. But it is a big decision to make so hastily. Why don't you sleep on it? A heavy weight fills your marrow. Your eyelids flutter, barely able to stay open. What, what have you done to me? I, I can't stay awake. I think that guy's a devil. I don't know. He's a little demon, demon-like, in my opinion. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, we're home. Oh, we just we. Is it normal? Oh, good morning. I trust you've made up your mind. Will you collect the souls I've asked for? Or would you prefer to stay stuck in this festering swamp? Alright, alright. No need to get your horns in a twist. I'll do as you ask. You haven't given me much choice. Splendid! As it happens, I can already sense the first four souls we seek. Two are in the forest, another in the swamp to the north, and the last in the fields to the south. Could you be more specific? Near a shapely stump? Perhaps inside a tree with a face? By an overgrown mushroom grove? What do I look like? A compass? Go out there and look for yourself. New chapter? Is that it? Chapter 2. The Sleeping Maiden. Alright. I will leave this game here. This was really fun. I love this game, truly. I don't remember everything about this game, but I really, 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 really cannot wait to continue it maybe the wheel will spin again and we get to play it again huh? that would be fun <laughs> all right but let's leave it here and we will see whenever we can play the next chapter